Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this video we will study about forward and reverse cleaning and flushing in RO membranes cleaning process. In forward cleaning method, where cleaning solution or flush water is flowed in the same direction of the normal feed flow direction, forward, normal cleaning must break up these foulants and push the foulant through all of the other membranes in the pressure vessel to exit out the brine side. RO forward flushing consists in pumping permeate water at high cross flow velocity through the feed side in order to remove foulants from the membrane surface because of the more rapid flow and the resulting turbulence. Particles absorbed to the membrane are released and discharged. Particularly useful in removing colloidal matter. In forward cleaning method, where cleaning solution or flush water is flowed in the same direction of the normal feed flow where brine returned to cleaning tank, the feed water is feed from cleaning pump discharge after cartridge filter. In forward method the thrust ring on the downstream side of the vessel. This provides support to the outer diameter of a spiral element to prevent telescoping of the element in the case that there is high differential pressure in the stage. Cleaning in the normal, forward, direction is always recommended if scaling is present. Scaling occurs when soluble salts precipitate and fall out of solution at the tail end of RO systems. Reverse cleaning method, where cleaning solution or flush water is flowed in the opposite direction of the normal feed flow has shown a better propensity for removing the colloidal foulant from feed end elements. If the cleaning solution is run in the opposite direction, brine side of the vessel to the feed side, there is no thrust ring to support the outer diameter of the element. Extra care to be taken during reverse cleaning. This aspect and the need for special piping need to be carefully reviewed before the application of reverse cleaning and flushing. Reverse cleaning method, where cleaning solution or flush water is flowed in the opposite direction of the normal feed flow, or brine returned to cleaning tank, the feed water is feed from cleaning pump discharge after cartridge filter this method shown a better propensity for removing the colloidal foulant from feed end elements. Advantage of reverse cleaning is that certain types of foulants concentrate on the feed end of the lead membrane, biological foulants, particulates, colloidal matter, are examples of foulants that usually are present on the lead end of the feed membrane. Difference between reverse cleaning and reverse flushing. Reverse cleaning uses a cleaning pump and chemicals with a higher velocity for more effective cleaning. Reverse flushing uses flushing pumps and lower velocities with permeate only. Reverse cleaning is not recommended by most of RO element manufacturers. Note before doing reverse cleaning or flushing, plant operation engineer must know whether reverse cleaning may be beneficial or not. Most plants are using permeate water only, no chemicals, in reverse direction to maintain low DP levels. This results in cost savings from less chemical use, less downtime, and longer RO membrane life. In reverse cleaning, it becomes more of a physical process of pushing the foulant out through the feed end, 
the shortest path length to leave the element. When doing reverse cleaning, it is important to limit the cleaning flow rates initially to prevent telescoping of the RO elements. Since there is no thrust ring supplied on the feed side of most pressure vessels, Note, implement reverse flushing to help control the very high differential pressure. Reverse cleaning, using CIP chemicals, was the most effective at removing the biological phalanx. Thank you for watching this video.